Today's adventure brings us to the desert of Southern California. Off on the horizon is a mountain range and some lettering designating where I'm heading. Calico. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here and tagging along today is Cody. Have you ever been to a ghost town? Never have, man, but I'm pretty excited. I think it's gonna be fun. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Join me. And Cody, shall you? Dating back to 1881, the largest silver mining camp here in California. An overview of the guide map shows that this place is pretty big. You can just, whoa, fail. First impression of this place, I must say, it's pretty amazing. It's like stepping back in time into the, the old west. This guy's doing a little bit of planking. For some reason, I thought that went out of style. That fad ended a few years ago, but I guess he hasn't got the memo. Don't want to break any rules around these parts. You end up in here. Speaking of rules, Look at this sign. Look at that, look at that. All this I had to repair because drunk men come and rip them apart. So you've now written a sign here stating, yeah. do not. Well, well, it was really dark, but the heat has really. So what does that say? It says, don't rip me apart. Don't rip the skeleton apart. Go inside and talk to the warden, and that's me. Oh, you're the warden? You're in the jail though. The warden should never be in the jail. I'll be anywhere I want. I do love these old-timey cigar store Indians. However, Chief Brokenfoot is not holding anything that you can smoke. Next to the town hall is a bulletin board with some postings of not only things for sale, but also looking for a sheriff. So if you're looking for a job to keep law and order, just come down here. And also, a good man is wanted willing to work from can see to can't see you don't hear that terminology much anymore don't you be doing no cheating now here at the card table you hear me i hear you there oh honey do i know you no taking a step now into the general mercantile established 1882. This place gives off a vibe that you don't normally see in modern day retail establishments. There's a familiar face manning the post office operation. You might recognize him. That's right. It's happy. The three flags up there waving in the breeze. One of them, of course, is the U.S. flag. One of them is the state flag, California Republic, and one is the county flag of San Bernardino. This mine cart is no longer in use, but it still has the tracks laid down. And I've never seen the word bankrupt spelled without the T. I guess that's shorthand, perhaps. I would imagine if you had a few beverages of the adult persuasion and you did think this was really the saloon, it would be your demise. Because there's a cliff right there. So for future reference, just to heed this warning, this is not a real saloon. Do not stagger in there while drunk. This is pretty cool, man. Every time I see this, like, I'm just thinking of like bombing it with a mine cart or something, you know what I mean? Like surfing it down the whole thing. Instead of a skateboard, you have to take a mine cart down that thing? Yeah, man. It's like Indiana Jones style, just bombing through it. Watch me work my fingers to the bone for only a quarter. Seems like the machine is doing most of the work, more than Mr. Skelly here. You know, that's really the best way to do your job, though. Let the machine do the work while you just, or you just chill. But I, I do get the pun, working his fingers to the bone. He's gyrating around. And if you like, look downward towards his legs. Oh, there's something down there. Oh, that's like a beetle on his torso that's like slithering around like 
kind of right there in the mid-range area. Remember, it's a whole heap and better to do the things you think you are not to than to spend the rest of your life wishing you had. All right, got to be honest, that's slightly, slightly terrifying. I think this might be a barber shop. It states right up here to come inside and see the way it used to be. Prices were a little less expensive back then. You can get a shave and a haircut for only 75 cents. Oh, what's going on here? This photo could give you nightmares for a week. He's just like digging all up in there, like leaving no tooth unturned. Just like rooting around in there like nobody's business. Well, it is his business. If you were a child, you would bathe in this tub. It's like it's made out of porcelain. If you were a grown adult, you would bathe in a wooden tub, which I would think that would probably give you a few splinters in the old nether region. That's the pharmacist. It looks like he might be on a break. He's just got his bottle there. He's trying to hide it, but I, I still see it. You still, you still see it there protruding up out of your, your arm area. Is there anything in there? Is Polecat Pete inside? He's in there. Is he? Oh, yeah. Can I take a gander? Yeah, take a look in there. All right, I'm going in. I see him faintly. Got anything to say, Pete? Get out of my house. Whoa. Sorry, didn't mean to. Get out of here. Didn't mean to disturb you. I'm gonna. Go, I'm just going to go my own way, Pete, as soon as I can get my camera unstuck from these, from these bars. See you, Petey. Yet again, I've ended up in another jail here on property, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna take this plank. All right. Okay, dude, seriously, you need to let me out of here. Definitely picking up a theme of skeletons. They're everywhere. There's one perch right there, top of that cabinet, right there, hiding in the shadows. Also not holding cigars, but he is, however, holding an item that you can smoke out of. And up here, I knew I smelled a rat here in this corner, here in this stinky corner. I don't know about you, but all this, this heat is making me thirsty. No spitting, no drunkenness, and no loose women. I mean, come on, kids are welcome, so behave yourself may have just stepped into one of the coolest old-timey spots in existence look at this artwork all along the walls and a poker table an old piano in the corner let's do this cheers it oh yeah it's actually pretty good I've never had an, a, an official sarsaparilla. We good? Refreshing. Designated as the granddaddy of all root beer. Keeping up with the theming, there's a cowboy walking in through the saloon doors on the logo. Now I'm no expert on the subject, but when it comes to cleaning clothes and hanging them out to dry, might not get the freshest smell placing them next to an outhouse. Property of Silver King, don't even attempt to reach in there and take any of that. Or you might end up here with the claim jumpers. With that tied around your neck and that vulture will be picking at your bones. This horse-drawn carriage was used for funerals. You can look closely, right inside there is a casket. Yep, gotta look closely to see it. It's all closed up. It appears as if the blacksmith has hightailed it out of town, but he has left the tools of his trade right inside there. We can get a, get a peek. Stepping off the main road for a moment. This is the angle off the beaten path. Now gonna head down this dirt section and off that direction. Warning, dangerous mine shafts do not pass beyond this point. After that alert, makes more sense to go that direction. Check out that church. Now that I look at it, it honestly might be a schoolhouse. You just picture Michael Landon back when he was alive. 
I think he would enjoy this this view. Built in the year 1885, that's what it looked like. It was restored in 1955, and you can peek in there. You can see the desks and the chalkboard. It was also used as a Sunday school room for church services. Worked up quite an appetite wandering around these parts. And this looks like a pretty good place to get a meal. Oh yeah, it's chow time. The menu is very clever. It's made to look like a newspaper, but when you turn it towards the front, you will see all the beverage and food items that are available for purchase. Sandwiches and burgers, appetizers, even a chicken special, and they also serve breakfast. At the table, free peanuts. Basically what you do is you take one, crack it open. You take the shell, throw it on the ground. You can see the entire floor is full of shells. Get off there. Get down there with the other ones. And you know a place is gonna be legit when they bring you your beverage in a mason jar. Heck yeah. And this is what we're dealing with. We got a little mashed potatoes and gravy action, some veggies, a couple of rolls. Once again, getting away from Main Street and heading straight up to Lookout Point. You can get a pretty good view from up here. Full circle of the entire premises. You can see off for miles past the ghost town, way over to the main surface streets, even the interstate. There's a train down there and some people going inside a cave way down there. Check out these accommodations here in the side of the rock. Just think someone lived in there at some point. Hey man, you wanna come up here and check out this glory hole? What is it? It's a glory hole. I can't hear you. What are you, what are you saying? It's a glory hole. Oh, now you know what? I think, I think I'm good. They've placed some cinder blocks here on the ground to give you a step stool to look up inside that window. A bed, even the kitchen sink, fireplace, and plenty of shade right inside there. I hear it. I faintly, oh yeah, starting to rear its head. Here comes the train. I hear the train a coming, rolling round the bend. It's going over a bridge through Calico Ghost Town. I know that didn't, that didn't rhyme. Please forgive me. At first I thought he got some sort of chunk of gold that he was holding and upon further inspection it's not it's not a jewel or gold or anything like that it's a chunk of his nose he's missing his nose and the best i can figure is he has caught and is holding his his own nose He's got his trusty mule by his side. No better friend than, your, than a mule. Except maybe a dog. A dog's a man's best friend, but a mule is definitely a close second. Inside here, there appears to be some interactive mannequins, so let's press this. I'm glad you asked. An assay office is important to a mining town like Calico. I receive bullion, or precious metals, from the folks mining in these hills. Then use some of the tools you see here. Test the purity of the metals. 
I also keep records showing what was found and who found it. So if you find silver, bring it back to me. Here's a song about an old cowboy whose riding days are behind him. He's sitting in a city or a town somewhere, wishing that he was still out on the prairie. Rolling, rolling prairies, where the city birds and tumbleweeds go growing back to the land of big sky. Gotta be honest, it's very cool down in here. Not just because I'm out of the sun, but it's probably a good 10 to 20 degrees cooler in this section than it is up above. So it's pretty neat how it just kind of dead ends into this section where the workers are down there. They have the cart, they have some of their tools on hand. All right, I'm gonna leave them be and head back this direction. If you look down on the ground, there's lots of coins and dollar bills of people who have missed the tray of this gentleman holding it out. It's kind of like a makeshift wishing well, but the one-eyed guy in bed, he's staring at you while you attempt it. Oh, close. Uh, oh, fail. Dagnabbit. I think that's supposed to represent sticks of dynamite. This guy has a huge bucket that he's trying to fill up. And this guy, all by himself, is pushing that cart full of tons and tons of rocks. At the end of this dark hallway, he's holding. First I thought it was an ax. It was almost like a Jack Torrance moment. It's really like a sledgehammer. Nonetheless, that's a, it's kind of scary. Right? To exit, you have to climb this tall staircase and go out through that turnstile. You heading out? Yeah. Now it's my turn. I made it out all right. Here's an old photo of the Cosmopolitan Hotel of what it looked like way back then and what it looks like now. It's now a sweet shop that sells candy. Oh my goodness. I. You know, I've heard the rumor that these actually exist, but I've never seen one in real life, which makes me wonder, putting two and two together, what happened to the child that was in that stroller? Wow. I'm answering a, answer this question. Chupacabra. Answer it. Okay, open the... Oh, how do you how about closing the door? I'm in here. That's right, in kind of a private office for myself. Yeah, I won't be out for just a minute. Want to get all my business done, if you know what I mean. I do, sir. Just about read this whole series of robot catalog, what was already in here. No, there's nothing. You're next on the line, so no, I... I'll be out in just a few minutes. I see no catalog, sir. All right, we'll close it. Let, let, him, have his, let him have his privacy. But he did, you know, he charged us a dollar for that, so I guess he can't really, can't criticize us too much. It's made completely out of bottles. Well, at least the walls. You can see all the way up, they've placed bottles end on end to create the structure itself, all the way down from the top to the bottom. With a peak population of 3,000, it produced 13 to 20 million in silver and 9 million in Borat minerals between the years of 1881 and 1907. The town, on April 6th, 1881, several claims were located here, which formed the largest mine in the district known as the Silver King. Walter Knott dedicated this place to the memory of the heroic silver miners who lived and toiled here. The preservation of this singular California heritage is also dedicated to you, the visitor, as a constant source of learning and enjoyment. Please respect this historical property. Signed, Mr. Walter Knott. Before leaving, gonna 
step into the cemetery here. A lot of the town folk from way back then to modern day are buried here. This was the town greeter named Earl C. Kelso, and his nickname was Doc Holliday, born in 1923. Tumbleweed Harris, the marshal for seven years, born in 1906, and Death Valley Helen, born in 1921, and stated on her headstone, I can still see my beloved calico. Some recent flowers have been placed in memory, and you can faintly see the lettering and date there from the late 1800s. Born in 1870, died in 1884. Cody has climbed up there and is sitting at the base of it, just under the spelling of the name up on that hill to the far right. That's going to do it for today. This is my first time at this location. I've been wanting to come here for years if you're driving from Los Angeles to Vegas or vice versa. You've probably seen this off to the side of Interstate 15. I finally got to check it out. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future adventures I will be going on as well as uploads on this channel. See you guys in the next video. The vlog is over.